in these examples, we're going to take a look at evaluating uh, expressions that have exponents. So this first one is 2 to the power of 5. So if you watched the previous video, you can take this from exponential form to expanded form by saying 2 multiplied by itself 5 times. So now it's just kind of a matter of getting all these things multiplied together. So you can say the first two 2's is 2 times 2 is 4. And if you multiply that by this 2, so all three of them would make 8, multiply 8 by this 2, that would make 4 2's, that'll make 16, and then multiply this 16 by this 2, which would include all the 2's, and that's going to be 32. So we're going to say 2 to the power of 5 is 32. In the next example, let's look at 7 cubed, or we can say 7 to the power of 3. So that means 7 is going to be multiplied by itself, and it'll be done so three times. So 7 times 7 times 7. So the first 7 times 7 is 49. And then when we take 49 times this 7, it's going to be 343. And you could work that multiplication out if you need to. So we're going to say 7 cubed is 343 when we multiply 7 by itself three times. In this next example, we have 8 squared, and then we're going to subtract 3 cubed. So if we use the order of operations, uh, it, it would tell us to do the exponents first before we do the subtraction. But in this uh, instance, that seems very reasonable since we don't know what to subtract yet because we haven't uh, evaluated each one of these exponents. So let's go ahead and take a second and do that. 8 to the power of 2, or we can say 8 squared is 8 times 8. And below that we could say 64 is what 8 times 8 equals. And I'm going to put our minus sign here. And then 3 cubed is 3 to the power of 3. So it's actually 3 3's. And they're all going to be multiplied together. So 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27. Okay. So when we do the subtraction, 64 minus 27 is going to be 37. So we can say that 8 squared minus 3 cubed is 37 when we simplify that. In this final example of our evaluating exponents, we have 5 to the power of 4 plus 1 to the power of 5 minus 6 to the power of 3. So we'll take each one of these individually, and we'll figure out what it is, and then we'll go ahead and do the addition and the subtraction. So 5 to the power of 4 is 5 multiplied by itself 4 times. So 5 times 5 is 25, and then 25 times another 5 will be 125, and then 125 times yet one more 5 is going to be 625. So put 625 right there. Plus, we have 1 to the power of 5. Well, isn't that just 1 multiplied by itself 5 times? But it doesn't have, matter how many 1's you have here. 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1, right? It's just going to be 1. So 1 to any power is just going to be my 1 right here. So we're going to say plus 1. And then we're subtracting now 6 to the power of 3, so 6 times 6 times 6, where 6 times 6 is 36, and then times another 6 will be 216, so minus 216. Okay, so 625 plus 1 is 626, minus that 216, and that should be 410 when we do that subtraction. So in these examples, we have taken time to look at evaluating uh, expressions that have exponents in them. And so when we do it, we're just going to do one exponent at a time and then add or subtract them uh, as indicated if there are more than one of them.